Hello, hello, inanimate audience. My name is Whoopdoo, and this is the inanimate public radio segment that is an absolute lifesaver for our ratings. Exit interviews. And speaking of lifesavers, this inanimate insanity invitational eliminated competitor of the month is no stranger to the label himself. Today we have Lifering. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Now that I have my bag, I think we have it in the bag. Love the sense of positivity. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt my own interview, but I wanted to stop saving lives for a second and talk about something a lot more urgent. Ray, it's Shadow Legends! Let me ask you, have you taken down the Demon Lord yet? Or crushed the Ice Golem? Because look, I may be around, but I know my way around these bosses, and now you can too. There's like 600 of them. Speaking of bosses, check out Sylvania, Guardian of the Spirit Keep. Let me tell you, she's devastating. I kind of feel bad about fighting her, though, and it turns out she got betrayed by the elves of Arabia, who killed her family. Still, we need those sweet, sweet spirit potions, so you've got to learn how to take her down in a brutal fashion. But it's okay, because she lost her family, so I feel kind of sympathetic for her plight. Anyway, this game has it all. Awesome boss battles, assembling a team of champions, and it's a turn-based RPG. And look, I'm a gentleman, so I love waiting my turn. And what's new in Raid? Raid's just released a huge new Doom Tower update. There are two huge new bosses to take on. And don't forget the Super Raids! New players will get the epic hero Chinoru, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and the 1 Ancient Shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. Find the rewards in the inbox for the next 30 days only. All you have to do is hit the link in the description and scan the QR code right here on the screen. It's all that easy and I'll see you in the game. Now back to the interview! How are you doing today? You know, I was kind of upset about it, you know, getting voted out and everything. Especially, you know, I thought me and Box really had a great relationship out there, but guess I didn't know him as well as I thought. Truly heartbreaking. Now, I want to go back to the beginning. What made you want to go into your job as a lifesaver at the pool? And was it worth leaving it for the competition? You know, every day I live my life thinking, you know, I, I like to smell the roses, I like to keep it positive, and I, I like to help other people feel that way too. So, yeah, at the pool, it just gives me an opportunity to get in there, get in the zone, and make everyone feel great and safe and happy. And, and, and I prided myself on wanting to expand my horizons and be the greatest lifesaver I can. And what better way to be the best lifesaver in the world than to just play this crazy game and just make sure everyone's feeling comfortable. You know, if in that environment you can save lives, man, you're the real lifesaver. Well, it's good to hear that you still had a good experience, and I hope that your teammates made it all worthwhile. Did you have fun with them? And who of them did you get along with the most? Yeah, I, I had a great time with them all. You know, so Nickel, he, he made fun of me a lot. He was rude. He was... Hmm, okay. Well, maybe not him. Okay, let me move on. Balloon, he was... He, he kind of followed Nickel a lot. He was concerned about him. Uh, okay. Uh, Box, we, again, great bond. Best friends for life. You know, even though he voted for me. Great, great guy. Tea Kettle, she was also, um... I guess kind of a little rude to me. I... You know, maybe I didn't have as much fun as I thought, but again, I like to keep it positive, and I'm wishing them all the best. They're the underdogs right now. There's only four of them left, and I hope they can pull it out somehow. I'm still so sorry to hear about what happened between you and Box. Did you expect for him to vote for you in the end, even after you stood up for him? No! <laughs> I didn't! I, I was shocked, honestly. You know, maybe I deserved it, though, because in the end, Nickel, as awful as he is, was right about one thing. I shouldn't have, you know, played with his life like that and, and made that a, a card on the table. That kind of goes against my code of honor and integrity, and I bit the bullet for it. Let me say, you know, I did, and uh, that's on me. So, you know, Nickel gets to live another day. I, I don't think he's going to last much longer, though, because he, he's, he's really just getting on everyone's last nerve. So I, I don't really know what his strategy is there. I mean, he, he must be doing something because everyone's kind of voting with him at the end of the day, but yeah, I don't know. It's still hard to believe that Box even voted for you after all the work that you put into those challenges. Did you have a favorite out of all three of the challenges that you competed in? Yeah, you know, I, I was inclined to say the diving, but unfortunately I, I slipped in the moment, and that's on me, you know. But the, the name challenge, I feel like we were all regrouped as a team really, really nicely. So uh, just being there, we were just like, oh, this is the name, uh, uh, you know, uh, but it was all right. You know, we, we worked together, and that was probably the only time we did. Even with the ups and downs in your team, you played a very good game. 
But do you think there's anything that would change how far you made it in the game if you went about it differently? Yeah, you know, Blueberry, he was pretty bad in the first episode, but I think I really should have solidified my relationship with the uh, new players. Tea Kettle, me, and Blueberry, because I didn't quite realize how strong of a bond the returning players had. I, I thought that Balloon and Nickel had a rift. I thought that Box was just very level-headed. Maybe I could convince him, but yeah, no, I, I was wrong. So I think I would have done that. And maybe if the three of us were strong, we could have convinced one of them to flip, because in, in the end, they really didn't have a good incentive to flip. So what are the things that you like to do outside of saving people? Do you have any hobbies or things you love to do outside of lifeguarding? I just said the same thing twice. <laughs> <laughs> table tennis. I'm obsessed with table tennis. I love it. I love hitting the ball and then sprinting over to the other side and hitting it again. Now, uh, I, I could work on it. You know, I'm only the world champion. <laughs> oh, well, that's amazing. It's a season full of very talented contestants. Are there any other contestants on the show who you especially respect the gameplay of? Hmm, respect is a tough word. I would say OJ and Paintbrush seem to have it really on lockdown with just how level-headed it seems they're being, although there might be a rift there that could be exposed, but for now, I think they're doing pretty well. And Yin Yang, too. I mean, the way he kicked them all off in the first episode, I mean, wow, that was really well done. And then on the other team, I think Test Tube is very, very smart. I would be very nervous to go up against her in a challenge. She can build things. She has more social ability than Cabby. So I feel like she's going to do better in the game. Well, those are very good picks, but you are just as impressive. You're able to stay under pressure and inspire everybody around you. Any advice for anyone who would want to do the same thing? Yes! So I would say you go out there, go up to your local flower bush, and just smell the roses. Smell them, take a deep breath in, and realize life is beautiful, and it's precious. And you just, you gotta roll with it. You gotta sniff, you gotta... Like that. Like that. If only all of your other teammates saw the value in that. I wanted to bring it to Tea Kettle, who somehow went from voting you after the first challenge to being your sole ally. Would you say you left on good or bad terms with her? Y you know, I would say neutral, which may sound weird. I, I appreciated her making an effort to go with my idea in the challenge, and, you know, she did vote with me. I do feel like it was kind of out of necessity. She didn't want to get voted out next, and if I went home, now she's on the bottom with the returning players, so that was part of it, but I, I think she did make an effort, and so I, I feel pretty good about her at the end of the day, and maybe we can, uh, you know, grab a pop. And, uh, and, and have a chat. Well, now you're here, what made you decide to stay on Indefinite Island even after being told to leave? Does Blueberry being there help at all? No, it doesn't. He's, he's awful. He looked at me just like I was just pest, like on day one. I didn't really like that. But look, it's in his best interest to get me off the island. If he can be the only one there, he's coming back into the game. He's not going to have any opponent. So as much as it's annoying, I, I think it's good gameplay. You know, I'm, just, I'm trying to look at it positively here. What made me decide to stay? I, I think I was pretty down, honestly, but then when Nickel sent me my bag back, it, it made me feel just that little extra positivity I needed to come back into the game. It really did. He's really just a little pest himself, but I can tell deep down, he he's not awful. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Thank you for not only speaking with us, Lifering, but for inspiring us. We wish you the best of luck, and I hope you have something good in that safety kit to help you survive out there. I think I'm gonna need a blueberry silencer, if you ask me, because, again, this guy is, is, is a lot. He's a lot to handle, but like I said, I always look at things positively, I move forward, and we're, we're gonna get it done. I'm gonna come back. Even with his pessimism, I hope you and Blueberry have a great time out there. And that's all the time we have for this exit interview segment. My inner flame guides me here, and I look into the lava down below. Join me. If you insist. I've learned so much here. I know you can too. Think deeply on any question. You will see. I only see red goop. Is this some ruse? Thank you again to both Lifering and our inanimate insanity patrons who are feeding me questions through a giant antenna hidden under my cowboy hat. Check out the link in the description to join the mind control today. This is Whoop Doo with IPR signing off.